activity, but for Louisiana and Mississippi, really no big imminent threats coming to us. Not from Fred anyway, which is going to stay well to the east with its big impacts and tropical depression. Grace is likely going to stay a depression or maybe even fall further from that, maybe just into a tropical wave as it moves over the northern Caribbean, but kind of hugs the land in the next couple of days. So we're going to watch Grace. We'll watch it for the end of the week, but kind of doubtful whether it will be able to really strengthen a lot or eventually move into the northern part of the Gulf. So we also are watching soon to be Henri, another little disturbance out here. I'll show you the models for that in a second, but even though it's gently moving south, it doesn't look like it will be a concern for the USA and probably not for any land area except for Bermuda. It is in that general area. It has a high chance of development now. So Tropical Storm Fred, the latest as of today, it is back to a tropical storm. Yesterday it was not a tropical storm. Storm. It weakened a lot and the new path you may notice yesterday it was shifted farther to the west, but when the center reformed it shifted back to the east. So now it's looking like maybe somewhere near Dustin Panama City, the western part of the Florida Panhandle for a landfall tomorrow, likely late in the day, and then it will weaken as it moves inland. So here are the tropical storm watches and warnings and note that they don't include Louisiana. They don't include Mississippi and they don't even include coastal Alabama. It's once you get to Florida and a little farther inland that the tropical storm watches and warnings start. So our high resolution model just to show you what to expect. We have had a flare up of some showers and storms scattered about in Louisiana today, but watch what happens as we move forward in time. Here are the bands of Fred moving in. This is tomorrow morning, Monday morning. Here's the center of Fred as a tropical storm likely strengthening a little bit, maybe to winds of 60 miles per hour or so when it makes landfall, but we'll have to see a little higher or lower possible. And this is tomorrow evening. Now for us, we have a chance for scattered rain and downpours tomorrow, but clearly all the rain really associated with Fred as far as the heavy rain bands go will be in this general area and a little bit farther off to the east of the center, wherever that specifically ends up making landfall along western Florida. So for us, this is really the only alert related to Fred that we have for Louisiana and Mississippi 7 p.m. tonight through early Tuesday morning. We will have these sustained east northeast winds and those of you along the coasts know when we get this kind of system, not even necessarily a tropical system, but these kind of weather patterns bring the waters up a little bit. So tides will be running about one to three feet above normal for the east facing shores. Again, something we're all familiar with when we get these kind of systems and the high tide, by the way, tomorrow will be in the morning uh, after sunrise. Here's tropical depression grace and grace has never been well organized. It has always been a very messy system and it will likely, as you can see here, continue at a depression or again, maybe even the remnants of grace we'll be talking about later this week because it's crossing over as Hispaniola and then Cuba and only right here will it really have a chance to be over warm water. Now it could fluctuate a little, a little farther south or a little farther north, so we'll watch it. But at this point, we're kind of thinking that it's so weak right now. The models have a lot of different solutions for where it will end up, but the Main thing driving it will be this high pressure and notice that as we move into this week, it's extending over the Gulf Coast. So this could be a good thing for us. It could continue to drive uh, whatever grace is, if grace even survives at this point off to the west. Now note the official forecast has it back to a tropical storm by Thursday and Friday. We'll see though. Again, this is a very uncertain one since it's not even a tropical storm yet. Our rain forecast for the next seven days, note includes the higher rain totals, of course, associated with Fred out here over Florida. But for New Orleans, we're just watching for those scattered downpours in the afternoons. Pretty typical summertime kind of forecast. And oh yeah, this is the Invest 96. Again, could become Henri. It is clearly going to stay out there. Now it's hot and humid in New Orleans. We do have a couple of showers or storms on radar, so we'll continue with a chance, maybe 20 or 30 percent this evening and overnight for a few showers. And then tomorrow and Tuesday, we'll keep our rain chance near about 50 percent. Notice that that looks like a really typical August week. So although we'll be talking a lot about the tropics and keeping you updated, of course, needless to say, all through this week, we're really at this point continuing with mostly kind of regular August weather for Louisiana. Six